If you're ready to become an editing genius, you've come to the right place. This is CapCut Audio 101. Welcome to the CapCut YouTube channel. If this is your first time checking out our CapCut 101 series, then hello, and if it's not, welcome back, friend. Make sure to hit that subscribe button for product tutorials and weekly updates on your favorite free editing app. This is the third part of our CapCut 101 series to take you from feeling confident in the basics of editing all the way to being an editing aficionado. And if you haven't already caught our other CapCut 101 videos, definitely go check those out. Today, we're gonna talk about all things audio on the CapCut desktop app. I'm gonna show you how to add music and sound effects to your video extract audio and record a killer voiceover. So if that sounds good to you, sorry. Let's go ahead and open the desktop app. Adding music is one of the easiest ways to spice up your content and thankfully this is super easy to do. I'm just gonna open the audio tab on the left and here I have a ton of options to choose from. If I open the music category on the left, you'll see there are a ton of subcategories if you wanna narrow down your focus and really find something specific. The trending tab is gonna be your best friend because this shows you what sounds are gaining popularity on CapCut at any given moment. You can also search for a specific song using the search bar. To add a song to your video, simply drag it on down to your timeline or press the plus button. From there, you can use the dynamic menu on the right to adjust the volume or add a fade in or a fade out. You can also normalize the volume of your music to coincide with a standard value. I actually use this a lot because I never want my music to be blasting in comparison to other videos that someone may be watching online. You can also reduce noise for a clearer sound or change the channel that your music is coming through. So let's say you wanted your music to only play on the right earphone, you can do that here. If you head over to the speed section, you could also speed up your song Song or slow it down. Be sure to select voice tone change if you want the pitch to go up along with the speed. I feel like I see a lot of creators doing this on TikTok to create a distinct sound from a popular song. You can also find sound effects in the audio section and there are a ton of subcategories to choose from. You want an applause from a large audience in your video? You can do that. You wanna get booed by a bunch of kids? you can also do that. Simply drag this down to your timeline like you would any other sound and effect, and all of the editing that you can do in that dynamic right side menu applies here as well. I wanna note that you can also add a song or sound effect to your favorites by clicking the star next to the sound. This will create a new subcategory called favorites that you can reference for future videos. But what if you wanna import your own song or separate audio? Let's head down to the extracted audio section. Here, you can upload your own audio file or your own video and it will extract the sound from there. This can be really useful if you recorded your voiceover outside of the app or if you have an original song that you'd like to use in your video. There are a few additional edits that you can do with extracted audio that you can't do with CapCut sounds. Heading over to the editing menu on the right, you can isolate the vocals from your extracted audio. So if you'd like to use a song that you recorded but make it acapella or instrumental, here's where you can do that. I will say though that this is a CapCut Pro feature, so you're not gonna be able to export your final video unless you're a CapCut Pro user. You can also use the voice changers on your imported audio. Shout out to Trickster, it's the best one. You can even add a filter so it sounds like your voice is coming through a megaphone or a synth, which I think is pretty cool. And you can change your normal speech into a song, and there are a variety of options here. I also wanna talk about voiceover because it's so easy to add this to your videos on the desktop app. I used to record them all in my voice memos on my phone and then try to upload them separately. It was a mess. On your timeline, you're gonna see a tiny microphone on the right side. Clicking on this is gonna open the voiceover menu. Here you can choose your input. I usually just plug my headphones into the computer and record from them. You can also reduce echo and mute the sounds of your video. So if you're recording a voiceover, you might not want the ambient sound from your clips to come through. So this is good to prevent that. When you press the record button, you're gonna get a countdown and then you can start talking. And you can always stop and start recording at any time. Once you're done, go ahead and exit the voiceover menu and return to your timeline. And you can edit your voiceover here on the right. Okay, how are we feeling about CapCut's audio features? I feel like we're all pros now. Comment down below and let us know what you wanna learn in future CapCut 101 tutorials. And I'm also curious, who is your favorite CapCut voice character? Personally, I love Elfie and Trickster. Those are my peeps. Anyway, I'll catch you in the next tutorial. Bye. Ready to release your inner editing wizard? Click on the subscribe button and let the magic continue.